Oh, what's up, folks? Welcome to the Final Fantasy VII Remake. The last time we took on Shiva solo with a Cloud here. This time, where are we going? We're going. Uh. Oh, back to the Leaf House. That works. I have no clue what we're doing. Uh, I thought we were supposed to like walk around the town or something, but let's see. Oh, what are you doing? What are you? I mean, how did he get up there? He didn't just vault up there. Just go the back route. Oh, uh, what are we looking at? Oh, it's Aerith. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. And now we'll follow Oats with Aerith in tow. Sadly, this is as fast as he goes. Uh, I know where he's going, but you can't outrun the little bugger. God, I, I really wish, like, I don't know, did they release a primer with this game that kind of talks more about the backstory? Because I just would love to dive into why or how these people all end up living under the plates compared to, like, on top of the plates. Uh, granted, I guess none of these people work for Shinra, but uh, that's a big stick. Come on. I know this place is off limits to grown ups. But if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. Alright, so we're gonna have to come back to this area. I'm gonna try to come to this area as few times as possible while doing all the stuff you have to do, because I hate walking through that corridor. It's so long. You're back! Aerith's come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there! Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier, so where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. So I never really thought about it, but from like a videography standpoint, it's kind of jarring to see the perspective shift between all the speakers like that. Like they're not they're always right on way. camera at the same time. And uh, it's just kind of interesting, like you just jump between groups their speakers and it's just jump cuts like there's no easy transition between them alrighty but more random battles or not so random I guess and you do your thing boom I love that I should probably use uh actually let's see what is her ability arcane word alright yeah I'll use that to max that out I don't think we have another weapon for her I want to say back here, there's a couple missions back here, one of which is like this box breaking little mini game, um, which I have beaten. I want to say I did all three levels. I know I did the first two levels. I might not have done the third level, and if I don't do the third level in this playthrough, I'm like, that's that's fine, because it's it's one of those things where it's like not, it's probably not the hardest thing to do. Oh yeah, it's right back here. It's probably not the hardest thing to do. Um, oh, there they are. But yeah, we'll get to that when we get to it. Like, I love how those, the, well, the machines and the monsters are just gonna stand there looking at the kids like, oh, you can't come this way, we're gonna get you if you get off the raft. And it's like, dude, don't you have better things to do? Like, I'm sure those kids aren't gonna, they're not gonna solve anything for you. Well, you're gonna kill them and then just move on? Like, you're a, you're a rat in a freaking junk robot. Like, why do you need to assault the children on the little thing? I don't know. Like, lots of button mashing in this part, probably. I can only assume that's the case. I was thinking, I was on Reddit and someone was mentioning how they played, uh, it was like the Xbox One subreddit. And someone was talking about how they played, um, Nier Automata for the first time and they loved it. And I'm like, yeah, it's a great game. But it's kind of interesting because, alright, just fight smogger. Um, it's kind of interesting because I'm like, I think about this game and that game and the fact that most, or, or, 
I think that game, Near Automata, is probably the closest thing to, like, this style of combat that I've played at least recently. Like, I think of Ghost of Tsushima, for example. Great game, uh, I guess, technically. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but, you know, it's a solid game, um, but it doesn't have, like, the same fluidity to the combat because there is that stealth component, and, uh, I don't know, it's just, I think about Nier and how this game, it just flows so well like a Nier Automata. And maybe it's because it's not the most technical battle system, to be perfectly honest. Um, I can see where people might say that, and it's like, yeah, it's true, I mean, it's just, uh, I feel that thing. And, I wish you dodge it, and let's try it again. Actually, let's just do Cure. And Trip Slash. But yeah, I don't know, I, I really like Nier Automata, and I can, I can totally get behind. Oh, it's another one. I gotta finish that LP, like, I, I should come back to it, because it, it was a really great game. Uh, back up, oh, she's silent, she's silent. And you know, now I'm thinking about it. I'm wondering if, uh, alright, so Haywire Hage, watch out, watch out. Uh, that move, uh, the, the charge of attack on Triangle, I'm sorry, like, to wonder, would, oh, what he re-bestowed, um, silence on me. Um, uh, alright, kill that thing. Oh, back up, back up. Oh, he got it again. But yeah, the triangle attack, oh, Jesus, the triangle attack. I'm wondering if that is affected by elemental, because it seems like it's a, like a blizzard type attack right now. Um, let's see what I have equipped on Eric. And dead. We'll Alright, let me see something. She has ice material. Oh yeah, no, she doesn't have that equipped, so that's interesting. Oh god, I knew that was gonna happen. Like just all vert off of two feet. Thank you. That was cool. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's head back. Uh, not before you hook a brother up, and uh, yeah, let's do that. I don't think we have to fight. Oh, actually, no. I think we do have to fight a couple of enemies on the way back. Which I always like when they do that, when they have like characters who clearly can't fight and you're with them. Then they just kind of run off the screen. Uh, thank you. They just kind of run off the screen to hide because you know they can't, they're not of any help. Uh, is it here? Yeah. All right, so you just back up and I'll let you actually back up, back up. And let's do some Arcane Ward. Let me see what this attack. It looks kind of like, yeah, like it has. Oh, it's like a just like a generic magic -y attack, I guess. All right, Smogger and boom, boom, and there you go. Oh, nice, some boxes. Uh, potion and antidote. Can I just lead the way? Uh, of course not. I love how he's just gonna go ahead of the girl, like just leave her back there, get kidnapped again. Like I said, we weren't kidnapped, but. And also, I'm not sure why only two materia slots show on the Braver. Uh, when I believe, yeah, we have three, so I, I I didn't really get that. I mean, I guess two is like the base number, so that's what You're they sure animated. Uh, but it was just kind of weird because I'm like, they totally could have just added another little node. God, every time I think of node, I just think of DaVinci Resolve. Shout out to them for making a free non-linear editor. Like, that's the way to do it, honestly. At least to dip your toe into the world of video editing and video production. 
Oh, I thought I said I'm a throw up to be a soldier. Like, Jesus. Uh, oh, this is the way we're going. Do we even say his name? Like, did he actually introduce himself? Maybe he did. I wasn't really paying attention. Like, I can't believe they let this go on that long. Like... <laughs> Isn't that right, Cloud? Isn't that right, Cloud? This just doesn't say anything. God, it's such a great role model. Alright, can you wait here? You go ahead. Maybe that'll help me. Can I run? Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. like your girlfriend no hmm, but she's someone special it's not like that more like I don't know how to explain I see so we won't explain <laughs> like Cloud's like the only video game character who does that I don't know how to explain and I'm just gonna stop talking because it's not worth it thank you from now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. And we will come play here whenever we want. Uh, don't save the game. Let me go back. Uh, what did he give us? The... Wait, what? It was a handmade bracelet. Is that just a, um, is that a key? Oh, handmade, that's it? Oh, that's stupid. But since I'm in here, let me check something. So she has the collisionist bracelet. Is there anything that we can get that's better? Oh no, that's probably about the best thing. Uh, what about cloud? Oh, iron bangle, what am I doing? What am I doing? Iron bangle. We could at least go with the mesmeric. Hmm. Oh, Titanium Bangle, what am I? Yeah, we'll go Titanium, right? Or Mithril. No, we'll go Titanium. And then we'll also give him, he has Fire, Healing, Assessed, Magic Up. Let's give him, should just, I should put a, ri a Revival on him just to get that moving. ATB boost? Oh, Steel would not, that would be a, wouldn't be bad. Um. Well, for now, since we can just level up, I'll put Revival material on him, just in case. Alright, I think we have to talk to a kid. Um, oh no, I'll take this item. What do we got? A Moogle medal. That'll come in handy in this area, uh, not too long from now. Similar. There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. The reunion. Is the thing too Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Alright, I'm gonna get into this. I completely... 
Alright, we're just gonna toss this dude. I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry, I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. Um, I don't know why we're talking to that kid. I don't think we have to talk to him because he's not a quest. Um, but as you can see, we have a bunch of quests. I think it's six quests. Oh my. Is that a Moogle? Uh, so we're gonna do all you six quests. See me, Koopa? And you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest, so he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But you'll need to buy a membership first. Alrighty, so this is Moogle Man. Um, sure, we'll buy one. How many Moogle... Oh, cool, we have 13. I don't like how they put the 13 down so like you can't really tell uh, what you have. Alright, oh, I guess I have to leave the conversation. If you find any Moogle medals... So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Oh, well, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. Alrighty, so let's talk to the dude. Uh, that was an easy quest. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know... This is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. Jesus. All right, Aerith. Um, let me talk to this dude. There are a couple like? things you can get. We have 13 Moogle medals. Uh, I'm going to pick up the gold saucer theme because that's nice. Uh, silver staff, I will get that for Aerith here. And then, so you'll see here, for five Moogle Medals each, you can get these primers, which give skill points to Aerith, Tifa, Cannon, nope, Barret, and uh, Cloud. So uh, those, I'm going to get them potentially at some point. Um, Salvation Bag. Oh, snap, I want this. Yeah, I'm going to get this. Uh, Whistling Scarf. This you definitely want to get, if only for Tifa. I, I prefer to use it on Tifa. Um, but it increases the, you start the battle with a slightly increased, or slightly filled ATB gauge. Um, I mean, I could get one of these. Let me get, uh, I'll come back for those. I don't really need them. But you do want to get the graveyard key. Make sure you prioritize that because you need that for a side quest. Which means I can bring happiness to a ton of people. Good for you. Hey, Cloud. Maybe say it like you mean it. Not until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile. From ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals, Koopo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys. Alrighty. Uh, so let me check our quest here. So we have finished. Let me see. Oh, God. Chapter 8 already. Yeah, so we have six quests. Kids on patrol. Oh, God. I hate that one. You have to find the children. They're everywhere. Um, and some other quests. Alright, so let's head back out 19 minutes I guess we can do one more maybe I'll search for the kids oh actually let me go back uh all right no we're good we're good want to make sure there, there's a quest in that area um but something I completely forgot to mention haven't talked about Final Fantasy 16 we now have a uh our first glimpse of the game and honestly kind of, it looks good um it looks like one of those high fantasy, old school, kind of medieval uh, Final Fantasy games, which I quite like. Um, not necessarily as much as like the sci-fi games, oh. like 13 and this, but uh, You're that former soldier. you know, I can get behind it. Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. 
The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Alrighty, I'm gonna do this this part because I don't want to. Oh god, have to do it later. Um, I'm just running around until I find the kids. I know kind of where they are, but I also don't. But as she said, they wear swords on their backs, so they're not too hard to find. Uh, but I figure if I go through this area somewhat methodically, it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, I think there's a kid. I thought there was a kid around here somewhere. Um, but here's one. Like, I love how he just has like the. Not aviators, but he's clearly like it's that, uh, that pilot, well, that pilot set. It's like he has the little flaps on his shoulders or whatever. You sound very determined. Sunglasses. These are dangerous times. The reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are going to have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Ms. Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! Um, how did we end up on the other side of him? We definitely talked to him from this way and he ended up on this side, whatever. Uh, alrighty. Um, I feel like there's a kid back there, but I don't want to walk back there just yet. Hey there, how goes the patrol? Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh, no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! That kid was relatively clean, given how uh, dirty all these people are down here. I don't say that meanly. I mean... They just are kind of, kind of dirty. Um, alrighty. I know that there's one. They said, oh god, I don't even know where they are anymore. But let me go back towards. Oh, here we go. I think there's one here. Oh, cloud. Hey there. How goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up. Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout, but. Don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Okay, and there should be one more by the community center. No, not before we pick up this item, which is a bottle of Echo Mist. I think that gets rid of silence, right? Oh, it activated my triangle push, but I ran past you're that her. Soldier, right? Can I ask you a super important question? <laughs> I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I got well, how she just bumps house. into him, like, she runs straight into the kid, uh, or in the cloud. Oh. Um, you're back! No, I don't want to oh, talk to you. What we've done with the flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Okay, uh, that is... Let's see, is that her house? Um, yeah, so we're not gonna go that way. That is story required. We are going to find, um, the other kid. I think he's by the shop somewhere question is where are those shops are they these shops those aren't shops uh, but yeah no back to Final Fantasy 16 um, I like the medieval setting is kind of cool and I guess after having so many of uh, these kind of games the techno the more techno uh, influenced ones or whatever it's I can see where they want to get back to basics in a way uh, but that game I will say it looked very violent 
uh, they had like a kid, they had a dude like get his, not head cut off, but they definitely slashed a dude and the kid got splattered with blood. I'm like, that's a little, that's a little insane for Final Fantasy. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. Alrighty, I guess we can head back to that's everyone. the house. I wonder how easy it is. The dude said, do I need to make a reservation for the building tour? I wonder how easy it is to be able to get to like the Shinra building if you live in the slums. Like you'd stick out like a sore thumb. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. Oh wait, okay. What kid said that? Um, nobody's face was moving, but uh, keep that dude's baseball bat in mind for later. Uh, but we're actually gonna finish this off now, rather than waiting. Um, I do think you have to come back to this area again, but uh, may as well. Head on in. I might die here. I know the first time I played this game, I did die. Uh, Toad King's not too difficult. And back then, I didn't really know what I was doing, so hopefully, I should be able to clutch it out. Uh, but we're just going to sprint, run, sprint faster. Of course, you can't sprint back here. No, you're welcome. Alrighty. And I don't even know. Can you run away from battles in this game? Um, oh, I guess I should try it here, because, let's see. Oh no, you can't. Um, yeah, you can't run from battles. You have to fight everything, because like most games, like action RPGs, you can just run and you're not trying to fight anybody. Um, but yeah, it's like they block off the little these little areas. So, I don't know, let's see. Could I run past this battle? I mean, usually that fight random battles because they're not that difficult. Oh no, because they block everything off with these like actionable areas. That's weird. Alrighty, oh uh, wait, what are these dudes weak to? Ice? Okay, keep that in mind. Um, Eric is going to be very useful for this next um, boss, because I ever mini boss, I guess you call him. Oh, uh, focus on Because I'm pretty sure he's weak to ice too, but we, we have Cloud with Assess, so that should keep things simple enough. One more. Protect you. I'm sure you are, Aerith. I am sure you are. This one's for you. All right, can you kill? Can you kill? All right, nice. And one more. One, two, three. Death star. Is that rage stats that he bestows on himself? I'm not even sure. It has like the the tooth icon or teeth icon all right here we go toad king so i remember this dude has a like almost like a bounding attack where he kind of jumps towards you uh let's do assess on hedgehog pie king and he's weak to ice just like everybody else Twelve thousand hp uh how about you actually look at somebody how about that and discard 
Wait, is that reflect? That might be reflect. Um. That might be reflect, or it might be protect. It, I think it's protect, but I'm not too sure. I definitely just missed. Okay. Alright, let's try... Actually, you move out the way. I don't know why you're staying so close to him. I will hit you with an arcane ward. Uh, triple slash on. Um, let's kill the hedgehog. Thank you. And guarding, 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 guarding. guarding. God, that knockback is insane. Let's try Thunder twice. What does that do? Oh, that's nice. I like that. Um, alright, how about you cure Aerith? Thank you. Yeah, I definitely died here the first time. Um, and as you can see, that's why. You don't want to... Alright, cool. Let's do some of this. One, two. Oh, he stole my potion! Dude, you're getting toasted. You're getting toasted right now. You're getting toasted, my dude. I'm totally gonna die here. Oh, Cloud's dead. Cloud's 100% dead. Because they're getting, they're getting health back. Alright, can I get... Thank you. Okay, Thunder, take out one headshot by. That should help. Alright, cool. Oh no, we're all dead. 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 What does Limit do? What does her Limit do? <sighs> okay, healing wind. Let the winds correct Heal yourself. Alright, that works. That was close. And now let's do Phoenix down. This is not what I had thought was gonna happen. You'll feel better in a second. Oh god, this is bad. This is—I tell you—it's like such a weird mission. I don't know. I should probably have put a barrier, honestly. All right, let's do Cura on Cloud. Why don't you, and you back up? All right, we're back. We're back. We're better. Let's get some yeah, focus rust. Can help stagger the dude. So that's nice. I should probably go. Uh, now that I think about it, I should probably go uh, Operator mode or Punisher mode. I never think to do that though, because you can basically, most enemies, I mean, you could wail on. Alright, hit me. Hit me. Oh, it doesn't work. It didn't work. Alright, spells. Secure up. Alright, let's get out of that because he's moving very slowly. Focus us. God, that junk snipes you wherever you are. Luckily, uh, Arcane Ward does stay out for quite some time. Oh god, that bounce attack is so janky. Like, I don't know what... I guess these guys have like their own ATB bars. Um, kind of like regular enemies. Alright, get that junk. Good. No more and you're dead. Alright, now we can focus on this dude. So it's my turn? So let's back up into the arcane ward and spam, 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 spam. Too much? And we'll hit him with a blizzard. And we'll get double blizzard spells. Just like that. Alright, if I can stagger this little. Uh let's throw up another arcane ward, why not? And then we'll finish him off with limit. I'm just glad to not die here. Like that's. Don't catch a cold. Uh, stagger him? Oh, not not yet. That someone looks kind of shaky. Oh, I was waiting for. Okay, cool. Now let's do limit. Cross slash, and you should be dead. Nice. Glad that's over. Alrighty, and let's return to the Leaf House.
that loading time was really quick. I don't know if I'm gonna cut it out or not, but that was like three or four Did seconds. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. <laughs> Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Alrighty, for that we get... A... Can I go in here? I think we get... A weapon for Cloud. A nail bat. This is kind of cool. It gives you the... Uh, uh, what is it? A new ability dis disorder. We can use a strong attack after switching modes. Um, so kind of nice. I, I mean, I don't use it too frequently. Um, but I will max it out. So let's equip that for now. And uh, I'll set it up in between episodes. And uh, I will see you next time on Final Fantasy VII Remake. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.